praise the Lord was just sort of just marinating, sitting in the presence of the Lord. You know, we can always get a word or open up the Bible and I says, Lord, I need a word. You've got to get, I don't always go for, go to the Lord for a word. Sometimes you just, whatever, you just chill, you're marinating, fellowshipping, worshiping. And the Lord spoke to me. I believe he did. I believe it was the voice of the Lord. He said, Rob, I'm going to start to use the women very, very, very powerfully in the body of Christ soon. And it's going to blow the men's minds. <laughs> Let me just say this, guys. Mother Mary, Jesus' mother, come on, was a great, great woman to go through what she went through. You know how this works. She got pregnant. It was an immaculate conception, supernatural, incredible. But she didn't know Joseph, and Joseph didn't know her, so they started looking around the town, saying, how's that? How's her belly swelling up with the baby in it, which was the Christ, the Savior? And they started a cute, that's why they had a flea. And she had to travel, guys. She didn't get a limousine, by the way. They sucked, you know, I would dare to say they suffered. So the Catholic Church, guys, I wouldn't say idolizes her, but makes her the Savior to a degree, along with Jesus, and says you got to get to Mary or Hail Mary. And obviously it's false. It's not true. Hallelujah. I called in a Catholic station once. I said, did Mary have to accept Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior? You should have heard the silence. It was like a live telethon. <laughs> it was, I'm sorry, I'm giddy. It was just a funny moment. I don't know why I called and asked the question. But the Christian church, I wouldn't say demeans her, but sort of lessens how... So she was a great woman, Holly. There's many great women in the Bible, guys. Deborah led the charge in the book of Judges. Many great prophetesses. Now, we, we know this controversy. Can women be used? Can a woman pastor a church? Some of these things, it's just people, they argue and debate. You know, I, I hate to debate because, you know, at the end of the day, no one generally wins. The side that thought they were right still thinks they're right and the other side it's terrible i'm sorry i'm laughing but um i got my own convictions can a woman be the pastor of a church you know i'll leave it at that i do believe they can if their husband's a pastor if they co-pastor if they pastor alongside a pastor who's their husband i don't have a problem with that but i'll just leave maybe i'll maybe i'll study and do a show on it but anyway, the beginning of this show, guys, by the way, I'm live every Monday, 9 p.m. East Coast time, YouTube live stream. Thursday's live, 8 p.m. Thursday is the ID and passcode. <coughs> Excuse me, I will pin in the comments. Getting back to the beginning, sorry for the rant. I don't know how I get off these tangents. The Lord's going to start to use women at large, females, young women, even teenage girls, young women powerfully soon because in some churches i shouldn't say many i should say male chauvinist but the women are demeaned the women are set back the women you know they they they, they, they can they can serve food and hospitality and cook the chicken dinners and different kinds of salads and they can sing a song once in a while a special they could sing on but they can't lead. They don't let them lead. They don't want them to lead. Certain men or men, you know, churches that are run by men. And that's why, let me say this. I want to be careful. That's why sometimes you'll see a, a church with a woman pastor. And maybe a husband's not visible in the pulpit or spiritually. And I would dare to say 80% of the church is all women. They're all women that conglomerate to that church because they want a voice they desire to be used of the lord they desire a ministry and they know if they go to that church where the woman's a pastor i'm not going to say that they feel they'll have a better shot but that 
they're not going to be held back, demeaned, slighted, and, and, and frustrated and constrained and constricted. So, so I've seen these churches where the, a woman pastor, it's almost like a woman's a glow. You know, there's only, there's a hundred, there could be a hundred members and 80, 80, 85 women and 10 or 15 men. So praise the Lord. But I'm telling you, ha, God's going to start to use the women. Watch out, guys. And don't feel intimidated or threatened. Come on, guys. The book of Joel, my hair's ballistic. I got to get fresh air because if it's 50 something degrees, I need the fresh air for my lungs. Praise the Lord. Anyway, the book of Joel says this. Gather the nursing infants, the babes, the nurse, get, get all hands on deck. Let the bride come out of the bridal chambers, the bridegroom. There's an urgency. We need all people. We need children. There's no junior Holy Ghost. Don't hold back the children. The Bible says Jesus said, forbid the children not to come to him. We want to see children. They're moving in the gifts, deliverance, inner healing, casting out demons, preaching the gospel. Ah! Come on, guys. <clears throat> and the women, uh, when there comes the intercession and prayer, they're more sensitive. There seems to be more of an intinuity. And it, 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 they're more intuitive. Because, you know, praise the Lord. I'll leave it at that. Hey, love you. The Lord bless you.